sisters. So um, Halloween's really a time that we need to be praying. And I'm going to try to fast all week, the week of Halloween. I think I'm not going to eat Monday. And then I'll probably start eating again Saturday. I think Halloween's on Friday. Anyway, um, you know, fasting is not about a diet. It's not about not eating. But it's about, you know, not indulging so much in the flesh and spending more time in the spirit and prayer. So if you just stop eating and you're not praying more, then it's not really fasting. It's not really not worth it. But I'm going to read some things that I highlighted in these papers that talk about prayer on Halloween. Uh, human sacrifice is practiced all over the world. That is a fact. From primitive tribes to the most sophisticated of societies, Satan's followers of many varieties, including Luciferian witches, practice human sacrifice. Followers of Jesus Christ can and must successfully combat these murders through the weapon of prayer. God receives much glory when his people fast and pray and really believe he will work mightily to prevent many sacrifices to Satan on Halloween, as well as other human sacrifice days. Prayer against this horrendous work of darkness is a seasonable good that God's people are capable of doing and morally obligated to do as we walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. James 4.17 I know that if I was one, the one who was bound and undergoing preparations for ritual slaughter, I would desperately hope that brothers and sisters in Christ would be willing to undergo a bit of inconvenience in order to intercede for my miraculous deliverance from unspeakable torture and death. Thinking on these things keeps me going when it's time to fast and pray. The Word of God promises that we will reap what we sow. Are you willing to sow inter intercessory prayer for people, both Christian and unbeliever, un and unbeliever, that are awaiting slaughter? If you are, you will reap spiritual blessings and the mercy of God when you are in dire need. It takes love to abstain from food and to pray fervently for people you probably will never meet and for results you won't be fully aware of until you stand before the throne of God. Those who are in Christ Jesus know that faith works by love. See Galatians 5 verse 6. Christian, it is by the mercy of God that you are not a sacrifice victim waiting for an, exceeding, for an excruciating death. In thanksgiving to God for his tender mercies toward you, present your body to God in fastings and prayers, and remember that you are a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12.1 Now I'm just going to read through a list of um, some ideas, some things that you can pray for the week of Halloween, um, or now, or, or Halloween Day. Just uh, and This is an exhaustive list, and some of these things repeat themselves. But anyways, there's a bunch of ideas here. So, um, pray and ask God to prevent kidnappings of people for the purpose of human sacrifice on Halloween night. Pray that the individuals from generational witchcraft families who have been ritually abused and programmed for the purpose of human sacrifice would escape, become born again, and delivered from spiritual bondage. Pray that those in the occult would not be successful in recruiting people into witchcraft, Freemasonry, and other branches of the occult through Halloween parties and recruitment going, goings on during this time. Witches target teens in particular. Pray that Christians would heed the Holy Spirit's conviction and be willing to admit to themselves that Halloween is not only of God, it is opposed to God, Antichrist. Ask God to help them understand that they are courting to the God. They are courting the God-sent delusion, delusion if they refuse to turn from this willful fellowship with devils. Pray that they would repent of participating in Halloween and all occult-marked activities, occult-themed computer games, entertainment, and ministries. Pray that God would protect children from being spiritually harmed by eating candy that has been ritually cursed. All candy that is marketed and packaged for the purpose of using in the Halloween ritual is cursed, has devils attached to it. Some companies bless their own candy with their own particular brand of destruction in honor of Satan's Halloween. Witches especially like to place their own specific curses on the candy before they hand it out to trick-or-treaters to give it to children, to Christian children during their harvest party. Pray that God would arrange circumstances so that people who are being prepared for ritual human sacrifice would escape. Pray that God's people will be willing to take them into their homes to protect them. Ask God to cause Satan's followers to fall asleep or otherwise fail to maintain vigilance 
so their captives can escape. Pray that God would work and perform miracles so they can get away. He is willing to do this and has done this mightily in the past in response to the prayers of his saints. God is against this evil, and he does act if his people will believe his word and pray. Pray that God would prevent Satan from getting his human sacrifices in other ways, such as purposely cause deaths in hospitals, nursing homes, hospices, suicides, etc. Pray in Jesus' name for the cancellation of all manner of spells, curses, and various incantations that will be done on Halloween night. Pray that curses to cause traffic accidents, fires, and all manner of planned disasters to cause the destruction of human life would be broken and not allowed to be fulfilled on this dark night. Pray that the, that the people who escape would surrender their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ and continue to grow in their knowledge and faithfulness to Him. Pray that Satan's followers, including, including Freemasons, defect and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and help the victims who are being held to escape so they won't be sacrificed. Many generational witches and Satanists, firstborn female, who were conceived and reared for this purpose are being held for human sacrifice. Pray that they, too, will be delivered to safety. God has done this before and will do it again. Pray that God would cover the escapees with his protection so they would not be found and killed. Pray that they would soon be born again and protected from being killed in retaliation if they come forward and speak out about these atrocities. Pray that God would intervene and create circumstances that will prevent the ritual human sacrifices from taking place. Pray that God would work in any way that he deems necessary in order to stop the sacrifices, allow the victims to escape to permanent safety, and cause those who serve Satan to be in awe of power and holiness of the real God, the Most High of the Holy Bible, and turn to him in sincere faith. Pray that those who regard themselves as faithful Christians and yet learn the way of the heathen by celebrate, celebrating Halloween or engaging in so-called Halloween alternatives would see Halloween the way God sees it and repent. Ask him to do what is necessary to cause them to understand that by observing Halloween they are actively giving Satan place in their lives. So that's quite a list, but of course there are many other things you could pray for too. Uh, so... Just a little bit of a helpful thing there. and It just blows my mind watching these Halloween documentaries and stuff and learning about the history of it. It's like, you know, I always knew that, you know, it had a dark side, that it was evil and stuff, but I didn't know the true history, and it never really occurred to me how these buildings called churches participate in it um, when there are these murders going on and that real Christians, uh, those who are faithful to God, are called to prayer for this. And uh, we should be spiritually, you know, in battle over these things. And these buildings called churches are just totally just forget about that and uh, just let's indulge in our lusts and, uh, you know, let's glorify, you know, devils. So, it's so wicked. Uh, it's just... Uh, Anyway, I hope that you'll be praying instead of uh, participating uh, and that you'll join me in prayer. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.